cap. Hey angels, it's looking Disney. I'm looking Bratz, AKA Dom, here with a video about some dolls that surprise released. Wait, am I crooked? I hope I didn't make it worse. So these dolls surprise released earlier this month. So my friend Zach, AKA Pancake Boss, found them in a Target store. Well, found one of them in the Target store and then posted it and then it doll community went a little crazy with it because we had no idea this was happening and so what i am talking about are the new disney ily forever fashion dolls so i remember these came out i want to say last year like or, or maybe 2021 actually like the end of 2021 or early 2022 although my timeline could be completely wrong they could have came out earlier or later but they were like bigger like toddler dolls they're kind of uh, gave me like american girl but like more disney and like a bit cuter <laughs> and they were I believe exclusive to Target stores, at least in the United States. And they are actually very cute. And those are made by Jack Specific. And I do believe these are made by Jack Specific as well. Though I will say I cannot find any Jack Specific branding on any of these boxes actually. So maybe, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe like it's not Jack Specific or maybe like Jack Specific and Disney store makes the same doll like I, I don't know like honestly like I really don't know anything so don't take my word for anything but now I'm like confused because I, I the big dolls were by Jack Specific I'm almost certain but maybe not like maybe I'm completely wrong no 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 it is because it's on their website I remember looking at their website to see if we could see these dolls and I can find them but you can see like the more baby toddler type dolls there and those were actually super cute I believe those had inset eyes and they were like about like yay tall or so and I think they are still being made and they're still in stores like I saw them like two weeks ago so yeah I, I, I see those dolls but like they they're cute but they don't fully call to me like I think the concept is cute but I think with the size of them, I think if they had been smaller dolls, like I would have been maybe more open to at least getting one or two of them because I do think they were super adorable. I guess they are still adorable. Like I think they're still being made honestly. And now I'm happy that they've sort of, not like downscaled, but made like a fashion doll version of this. Like I fully did not expect this, but honestly, probably like, a really really smart move because I think a lot of the market right now is really geared towards fashion dolls and like dolls that give a little bit more like you know it, like dolls at this scale I think are really popular right now like this is definitely like similar scale to Rainbow High and to OMG and to even like Barbie and Monster High and Bratz like it's at the same scale and it's not like a big doll like an American Girl doll and I think, you know, there there is an appeal to buying the bigger size dolls, but I don't know if they're as collectible, whereas these, I think, definitely are more collectible. Like, they're more compact. You can store them away easily. You can display them a little bit more easily if you wanted to. And I have to say, they're very cute. Like, I, I'm really digging these, and I, I forget who sculpted them. But that person posted recently saying that they had sculpted the doll's faces. And I think, I think they look pretty cute. I mean, they're very soft and it's very Disney. And I think it just, the, the face sculpt does make sense to me. Like it's giving Disney cartoon character. And I, I really, I love it. And spoiler alert, I did buy all six dolls. And so I found most of them at the Disney store. I was with my friends Frank Emil and Joshua. And I was like, hey, do you want to go to the Disney store? And they immediately knew what I was up to. And I'm honestly shocked they agreed to go to the Disney store with me because I I always go in this thing of like, oh, like I'm gonna slow down on buying dolls. But I saw the first doll that Zach posted, and I literally like loved it like I love the concept so much and so I found most of them at Disney store in Times Square 
and I also got two fashion packs there. The only one I couldn't find in Times Square was Cinderella, but, well, not really Cinderella, but the Cinderella-inspired doll, and she's the one I had to order from Target, and I did have some Target reward points, so it was worth it in the end. So these are actually being sold in Target stores, or at least most of them, and especially if your Target store has like a mini Disney store inside, then you'll be able to find them there. If not, the Disney stores, which are far and few in between now, are selling them. And also like any like stores, I think in the Disney parks will be selling them, or at least in like the downtown Disney area or um, what is it? Is it called World of Disney in California? I'm not sure. But also, wait, hold on. You gotta get the Disney shirt in because this is my Disney, what is it, the spirit jersey? Is that what they call it? I'm not really like a Disney adult, but I do like Disney and I do like Disney princess dolls and I love Disney dolls generally. I just don't really tend to collect them because it's, I don't know, like I, I just don't, it doesn't fully appeal to me. Like there are definitely Disney dolls that I want, but it's more like old Disney store dolls from like 2004 and like that era of it all and I almost I almost bought a Disney princess pack from Columbus Farmer's Market <laughs> I didn't get it though it was a big pack but I, I'm really into certain Disney dolls I, I have Tinkerbell from so my friend Josh actually bought Tinkerbell for me because I couldn't find her when I was in Florida so I actually went to Disney World back in May and that was <laughs> that was a time because that was supposed to be a trip for me and my boyfriend at the time and then he broke up with me two days before the trip and I ended up going on that alone that's a whole other story but I ended up like going so I was really proud of myself actually in that moment and I was like you know what I think I needed this and I just I needed to get away for a bit I was there for like a whole week and then my friend Joshua met up with me we went to Epcot and I you know I wanted to get dolls there but like they only I don't know if there was a shortage at the time Sorry, I'm like really like off topic here because we're, we're here to talk about the ILY dolls. But yeah, they, they didn't have many dolls there. They only had select characters. They had mostly like Pocahontas, Ariel, and someone else. And they also had the, okay, okay, sorry. In Epcot, they have like this booth and it's like precious moments dolls and they're all Disney themed, but the seller only wanted to sell in bundles. So you couldn't buy like one individual doll. And I didn't really want like a whole set of something. Like I just wanted like one doll just as like a keepsake. And I don't know if that seller has like, I don't know, loosened up the policy recently, but I know that they're still there because somebody recently posted a picture of that booth. And if I went back, I would actually consider maybe buying a set but it would really have to be like the right set like I have to like really enjoy the dolls but that's a whole other thing but yeah Disney dolls have like really been like a part of my doll collecting journey and actually maybe I'll post a I have a picture of me like holding like my Ariel doll and I think a Belle doll in one hand and I think I have a bottle hanging out of my mouth or maybe that's another picture actually <laughs> like a baby bottle but I don't know if that I think I'm mixing up two pictures together because I'm thinking of, like, what pictures I have in my little photo bucket. But, yeah, like, I loved Disney dolls growing up, and I remember I had these brass key porcelain Disney dolls, and my mom bought me the whole set, and unfortunately, like, I brought them to my aunt's house, and, well, her apartment, and they ended up, like, moving to California, and they didn't take most of the stuff that was at that apartment. They kind of just abandoned it in like a storage area of that apartment building so either somebody has found them and picked them up at this point they've been thrown out or there are some molding dolls in some apartment building basement in the middle of new jersey <laughs> that was a lot but i i am i i know for sure like one day i am gonna go back and i'm gonna try to recollect some of the older disney store dolls but also i want to get those brass key porcelain dolls like i need the set back it's just a matter and they're cheap they're like cheap dolls like they're easy to find they're cheap but i'm like also like where am i gonna find the space but also like here i am i keep buying dolls and i just bought six of these and i know i'm gonna want to display them like i already think they're very cute and also i have a ton of dolls to open and that i sound like a broken record each video because i'm always like oh i have so many dolls to open and like my rainbow high series four dolls are like staring at me right now like this like they're like are you really gonna open those dolls in front of us and not open us right now but yeah just to go through a quick overview i did get cinderella oh. i 
I need a new ring light. <laughs> Please watch my YouTube videos so I can get a new ring light. I got the Cinderella inspired doll. I got the Snow White inspired doll. And I think this is the one Zach found at first and fell in love with her. I think she is just stunning. And I'm really interested in like opening these. And I've experienced one already because my friend Josh ended up buying the Tiana inspired one. And I already know the hair is polypropylene and that is so disappointing, especially for the price point, but we'll get into that. I got the Belle inspired one again, like she looks just so, so gorgeous. I was like, oh my goodness, like we're getting, we're in a fashion doll renaissance right now. And there are so many good, pretty fashion dolls on the market. And it just makes me so happy. Like we really, like we had it rough for a few years, like even Disney dolls, like, and this is like such divine timing because Mattel got the license back to the Disney princess Playline dolls and Hasbro's no longer making them. So I'm interested to see where that goes, but like so far I'm not fully impressed by the Disney princess dolls from Mattel, but I do want to maybe get a few and experience them, but that's for like another time because you know, Sorry, I'm going off on tangents, but there's just so much happening and I think I'm overstimulated. Here is Tiana again, another gorgeous doll. Just a shame about the hair. This one is, I'm predicting to be my least favorite and it's the Princess Jasmine inspired one. Then finally, there is the Ariel one who I also thought would, she might end up being my second to least favorite, but I still think she is pretty cute. I'm just not a big fan of the outfits so far. And I also got one of the Ariel fashion packs. So I may end up dressing her in, ooh, I, I may end up dressing her in this one. And I also did get a Jasmine fashion pack just to see if maybe I might like her better in this fit. But something interesting about this line is that each character, they don't have names, like they don't have character names, but they are inspired by Disney princesses, obviously. But I don't know if they stick to that core Disney princess, like if they're like, oh, like I'm Ariel core or I'm Jasmine core. Because if you see on the back of the box, like this is Snow White's character and she's wearing the Jasmine fashion pack. And then Ariel, it's actually <laughs> Jasmine's character wearing the Ariel fashion pack. So I think maybe they like to switch up their aesthetics once in a while. And there are some non, not like non princess characters, but I do think there might be, are there frozen ones? Don't quote me on that. Cause I don't know if there is actually, but there's like a Pocahontas fashion pack and there's no Pocahontas doll that, you know, inspired by Pocahontas. And there's a few others who don't have like inspired dolls. Like I think Alice in Wonderland might be one of them, or I could be totally making this up. I think is there a Tinkerbell one? I'm not sure. If there isn't, there should be because I love Tinkerbell. And again, that is another core memory for me. The Tinkerbell dolls and I remember being in a stroller as a baby and then my grandmother bought me a Tinkerbell doll at Disneyland and I, I was in love with that doll. And I really, I love those memories. Like I wish I still had those dolls from my past, but unfortunately, but unfortunately I don't. I'm really thinking about the impact Disney Princess alone has had on me. And it really did kind of spiral into my doll collecting. Like I was obsessed with those Disney Princess DVDs where they had like the little story times and stuff. I, I, I hope, I, I think I'm remembering that correctly. It was like Disney Princess and there was like di different volumes. And then I also had like, my mom would order these books and they would come in the mail like monthly, I think, or she would like order them and I'd have to like choose one. I don't know what, what the deal was with that actually. <laughs> Maybe I should ask my mom to explain what that was. Like, why did I have to choose one book? But yeah, I, I, I love Disney Princess and I'm hoping to see this line like expand and maybe improve the quality a bit because I do have some quality issues with them already, even though I don't have any of these out of the box. You've heard me rambling for probably 10 minutes now. So they have polypropylene hair, which is disappointing, but also the articulation on these are limited and the dolls cannot sit down, which I, I don't... <sighs> the dolls are $29.99 US dollars. So keep that in mind. I think it's pricey for dolls with limited articulation and polypropylene hair. I think at most these dolls should have been like $22. I mean, that's my prediction. Like maybe I'm totally off the mark, but yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. There could have been like more quality, like higher quality materials being used for these dolls. But I think it's about time that I like finally open them because I've been like literally just rambling because 
I love to tell y'all my life story, but I know some people like that. Like I know some people don't mind it and some people like hearing about like memories. So I'm always happy to share that. Like I love talking about dolls and we're gonna start off with Cinderella. And when I think of Cinderella, I think of the fact that she's had like a million sequels. <laughs> I remember the last one was like Cinderella 3, like a stitch in time. Is that Cinderella? Yeah, that was Cinderella. And I remember that. And I remember growing up, my favorite, one of my favorite movies was the Cinderella movie with Brandy as Cinderella. And that is still like one of my favorite Disney related like movies. Like I know it's like based off a musical and the musical didn't start off like Disney, but then Disney adapted it into that made for TV movie with Brandy and Whitney Houston and then other like amazing actors and actresses and I I love that movie to death. And the soundtrack was amazing and I wish I wish they would release that soundtrack on like CD or on like streaming services but I think there may have been conflict because I think Brandy and Whitney had different labels or something like that. I I Anyways, they come up with these balloons and the balloons are like weird. <laughs> they're like halfsies so it's not like a full balloon but in each balloon there is a surprise so there's a surprise element to the dolls and I think the balloons are kind of meant to mimic like the Disneyland balloons like with the Mickey blown up in the middle of the clear balloon and so there's like a little a little so oh okay you can just completely take it off and there is a booklet and it shows you all of these like Disney parks foods and the surprise is that you're gonna get one of these so there's like a dull whip on it and dull whips are pretty good there's like a little mickey pancake a little mini like is that a sundae or a cupcake i think it's a cupcake there's like chocolate dipped mickey ear rice crispy treats there's oh i love these ones the mickey mouse ice cream bar some like macaroons like mickey and mini and chocolate covered apples or candy apples I should say and there's a popcorn bucket a pretzel and some lollipops and it's all Mickey themed so we are not gonna escape Mickey <laughs> in this line and so wrapped up I love this wrapping paper it's tissue paper that is Disney ILY like a monogram logo and on the inside we have our food item and it is the Mickey Mouse ice cream chocolate bar and it's pretty cute, like it doesn't like, it's not separated, so like if your doll was eating it, they'd have to like actually hold it and act like they're eating it. But pretty cute, like I love the fact that these are like Disney bounding dolls, and that's actually a term I learned more recently. So if y'all don't know Brooke, aka X Canadensis, you probably do, but if you don't, she did this video on these dolls. And so back in like 2021, or actually maybe like late 2020, now that I'm thinking about it, or actually, no, it was early 2021 because I was like so confused. Somebody in a Facebook group, it was like a doll Facebook group, posted this thing and it showed these dolls and they were like, what dolls are these? And everybody was like so confused and I thought they were like the witch dolls, like the acronym witch, which was a Disney property. And I know they had dolls and I looked it up and they did not look anything like the witch dolls. And I was just so confused. I'm like, what else could these be? Cause they had a Disney imprint on the back of the head. And then somebody figured it out and it was this like obscure Disney park sign called Disney Pixie Stars. And <laughs> I went to go look on eBay to see if I could find them. And there was a sold listing for all three dolls. And it was like probably like 50 bucks, I think. Brooke, correct me if I'm wrong because you're the one who ended up buying them. And I'm jealous, but I'm not like mad at it. But I was so jealous because I thought they were just so beautiful they were very like Bratz-esque and they came out around 2007 2008 I believe they were Disney Parks exclusive and I found out they so the ones that Brooke got said Disneyland Paris exclusive but they were actually just a Disney Parks exclusive because they were also in the U.S. parks I believe and in the U.S. they were called S-T-A-R-S which was an acronym for Sassy Trendy Always Right I sound so unbelievably gay when I talk about this, but they're just such cute dolls. And those were like the, the uh, very much like an early iteration of what these dolls would be. 
and I really like I desperately want those dolls like those are grails like those are true grails of mine now ever since I found out about them and their names are like Laureen and oh oh G Gemina and there's another one whose name I think it's um it's Erin so yeah and they're like inspired by the Little Mermaid and I believe Princess Jasmine and I want to say Aurora and I'm gonna put pictures here because I have these pictures on my phone. I saved as many pictures of them as I can. And I desperately want these dolls. If anybody could ever find these dolls for me or sell them to me, I would ball. And I was trying to find them in time for my Disney World trip and I couldn't because I thought it'd be cute if I brought them to Disney World, but instead I brought my depression. So she has a bag and sorry, I, I ramble so much. Uh, and it's like a fake quilted, like it's molded plastic here and there's a bow on it and it's a glittery bow. And then there is a fabric strap. It's like a ribbon strap. So there is like a cute little, you know, it's not completely plastic. And this accessory I really love. And it's like a little Fujifilm Instax type camera. Oh, I, I, this plastic tie is like stuck on. It's blue and it has like a little, um, just like a little keychain on it. And is that like anything? Oh, it looks like it could be like a little pumpkin actually. Probably because it's a Cinderella themed doll and you know, the pumpkin. Also, I didn't show this, but she comes with a sweater and this was actually like, I saw the poster up in the Disney store and I was like, wow, like she's so cute, but I can't find her anywhere. And it was this sweater that really got me. And it says bippity boppity boop all over it. And it's very cute. I'm, I am gonna put it on her. And I almost bought her fashion pack, her fashion pack. I should put a picture here because it was so cute. It actually reminded me of like the 90s Disney World Barbie dolls. Let's get her out of the package. I already feel her hair and it, it's not the worst poly hair, but it definitely is gonna need some fixing up. Also, I hate how they put like metal wiring on the shoes. Like I haven't seen this on a doll in a while. <laughs> also, I'm pretty shocked that Disney store uses primarily polypropylene also on their store dolls. The only time I think they ever really do nylon is on the Ariel dolls. But here is Miss Cinder inspired by Cinderella. Her hair doesn't feel awful. It is polypropylene, I have to unfortunately confirm. But she's so cute. Look at her. And like this doll is like pretty like has like weight to her. And I, I don't remember feeling the weight on the other one. So like the Tiana inspired one when my friend opened her, but I don't know, like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to open them and see if the other ones are as hefty. But I like that, I like a little weight to a doll. Like it makes it feel a bit more expensive, but here she is and her articulation is a little bit limited. She can't really put like her hand on her hip that much, like it's hard. And also the hand mold is kind of like odd. So like, it's probably to like maybe grip some of the accessories, I would assume. Her pants are really cute. I really love her leggings, like pants. They're very cute. Like I love the colors. So the legs, I will say the leg articulation looks pretty impressive. I, I feel like I can't even show it on this doll because of her leggings. But let's say the legs just go very far back and I'll show you on another doll how it works, but like, they can like definitely sit like this. <laughs> and um, the only thing is like, I just popped her leg out. Please pop back in, please pop back in. Okay, <laughs> the leg popped back in. <laughs> I was like nervous. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to return her. But this is how far she can go. And like, obviously there's not much option to like sit. And if she like puts her legs down, she kind of is like, it looks very weird. Like, yes, mama, yes, work. Uh-huh. Okay. Her shirt is also pretty cute. I am gonna put the sweater over it. But it has, like, little... Is that glass slippers? Yeah, it's a glass slipper here. She has a necklace, and there's, like, a little clock, probably, to, like, signify, like, the hour, like, the midnight hour that, you know, Cinderella has to return home. Her face is really cute. I am I got lucky. Although I will say something I've noticed with these dolls is there's like, some of them look like they have like dirt embedded in their face. This one doesn't. It looks like I might just need to like wipe her face down though because it looks like there might be some like product on it, maybe from the hair gel. And her specifically, it looks like she has dimples and I love that. That is such a cute detail. I don't know if any of the others have that really. I noticed that with the other ones, so that's pretty cute. Let me get her out of this weird pose. 
And I'm like surprised the legs have like that art articulation and like the arms are pretty limited. Like, I don't know. And also the fact that she can't sit, like it's a little, I don't know. And I like her shirt, yeah. I like the like two straps here. Like I would not have expected that. It looks very much like athleisure to me. Also, something I will say, like, if you're redressing the dolls, the arms do not come off like a lot of other articulated dolls. So, dolls like OMG, Bratz, and Rainbow High, and, like, Shadow High in those dolls. And I, Mermaids does too, like, the hands pop off so that you can easily redress them. And also Monster High does this as well. And I like that. And with these dolls, like, you gotta be careful putting on the clothes and you, because you don't want them to, like, rip when you're putting it through. Although I will say that just went through very easily. Of course, as I'm talking badly about it. So yeah, just be cautious of that, that the hands don't come off. Don't try to rip them off because you'll break the doll. Here she is in her sweater and this looks so cute. This is kind of giving me like Ariana Grande vibes. Like I know Ariana Grande probably loves Disney. So <laughs> it's giving Ariana. And I love the way it kind of like hangs off her shoulders and it's kind of just like a nice like cozy look. And I love her shoes. She has like very glittery flats on and there's like a little bow on it. She's giving Cinderella. Makes sense. But yeah, I love her like little accessories. I love her like little Instax camera. Like she's pretty, she's pretty good. Like this is all you really need at Disney. <laughs> and I hope that bag is carrying like a bunch of other things that you need like a portable charger and like aspirin and you know, I carry my entire life with me sometimes, so <laughs> I need it a lot when I went to Disney. So I hope I hope she's able to fit that in her little bag here. But yeah, that's the Inspired by Cinderella doll. I will say she is pretty cute. I'm glad I ordered her because I was just going to wait to get her in the store. But then I was like, I don't know if I want to do... I don't know if I want to do a review if I don't have all six. And that's my excuse to buy them all. Although I will say, like, I'm sure, like, most people can, like, be satisfied with this only buying like one of the character that they feel like really represents them and i think that is the point of this line is that you can go to a disney park and you can buy it for like your child or for yourself and you can kind of have like a little buddy to like bounce around with now i'm remembering i got my mom got me this like a little set of mini disney princess dolls from disney world back in like 2008 that was my only other time i went to disney world in florida and I loved that little set of dolls, but I was so nervous because my cousins were with me and we kind of had, I bought them like secretly so that, you know, they wouldn't see and like judge me. Because my one cousin was being like really rude to me actually that trip. It's funny now because he's actually pretty cool now, but yeah, he was really mean to me on that trip. Oh, now we're opening the Snow White one and I love her design. I think she's so cute. So I'm happy I have her now. And it's so weird to think that this just, like, it literally was a surprise drop. Nobody knew this was happening, I think. There was, like, no warning about this. It just kind of popped up in a store. And I kind of miss those days. I get really tired of doll leaks sometimes. Like, as fun as they can be, I feel like it really spoils things. And a lot of people get, like, these, like, preconceived notions about doll releases without seeing, like, the full doll and, like, everything the doll comes with. And that's, like, the thing. Like, the Tweevils just leaked. And I'm not posting them anywhere just because, like, I, I'm i trying to protect my account. And I also just, I, I feel really bad for the companies who pour their hearts and souls into designing these dolls and really want to build up a release and then it get, gets kind of spoiled. But we can get into that in another video. But yeah, I, oh my goodness, there's so many, like, little plastic ties. I'm so sick of this. I feel like with every doll I buy lately, it's just plastic ties everywhere. Ah, okay. Here is her little cardigan this cardigan is so cute it's very dusty though there's like dust oh god i need my air purifier to like pick that up over there and there's like apples on it of course because it's a snow white inspired doll it's very cute pink color and i love the material on this like it feels like a real cardigan material so pretty impressive there oh and at disney world i think this was toontown or like world of disney or something but there was like this build a My Little Pony. There was also like a build a potato head and I almost did the potato head one because it felt more like masculine. It's, 
potatoes. <laughs> I almost built a potato head, but I, I didn't end up doing it. And I don't know why, actually. But there's also, like, a build of My Little Pony station. And I really wish I had built a pony back then. I wish I could go back just for, like, those little experiences that I missed out on. But I, I might, like, try to get them online at some point. Because I think a lot of those are being, like, sold on eBay. Like, the Disney World or Disney Parks, I should say. My Little Pony stuff. But here's the doll. Like, look at how cute she is. And, okay, yeah, this doll feels, like, sturdy and, like, heavy, so I get it. But here's what I mean about the knees. Like, they're kind of ugly. <laughs> like, but they bend, like, really far back for, like, no reason. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the knees, like, do that. Very bendable. Probably, like, one of the most articulated knees I've ever seen on a doll. Kind of ugly. Like, I don't know. I don't like the shapes of everything. But that's just my opinion. Like, I'm sure other people don't mind it. And also, the feet are articulated, so they bend like that. But her outfit is so cute. I will say, probably one of my favorite outfits. I love her face. She has freckles all over her face. She has laid down baby hair. She also has, like, little curls coming out. I love her hairstyle. And I also love her ears. They're just so, so cute. And her necklace is, like, the apple. Like, the... I think it's, like, the poisoned apple. Or, no, it's a skull. Is it like a skull apple? I don't know, but it's it's on her necklace. <laughs> I think it's a skull. I'm trying to think of Snow White. The Snow White ride really scared me as a kid. Like I would scream and cry and throw up because I hated the ride. It was so scary. I love it now as an adult, but the first time I went when I was older, it was like 2012 or so. And I went in Disneyland and <laughs> there was a cockroach on my foot <laughs> when I got off the ride. And I was really like freaking out. <laughs> So that's what I think about when I think of the Snow White ride. And I think they've updated it since. But here's her bag. It's very cute, very like Snow White themed. It's red, yellow, and blue, and it's like a plastic bag. It doesn't open. Oh no, it does open. Okay, that's cute. So you can actually open this bag. I don't believe you can open. Oh no, you can, you can open the bag. Oh, I didn't notice that. So you can open up the bags on these dolls, which I didn't know, or you know. She is very cute. I like her little bag and it opens up and there's of course fabric straps. This is more of like a felt. It almost feels, it's like a, like a felt ribbon almost. It feels pretty nice. And she has these little glasses. They're like little round glasses and there's like a bow on the top. I, I wonder how these look on her. I don't think I've seen her much with these. Oh, these are, they're more like sunglasses. I thought they were more like reading glasses at first. Oh, the paint is flaking off though. So the glasses are pretty cute, but look at the paint. It flaked off in the middle, so... Can I contact support about that? I would like glasses that are fully painted. Something that I, I noticed that bothers me... I love her, like, braided hairstyle up here, but there's, like, a little plastic tie in there, and it's really bugging me. I want to snip it just a little bit, but I'm scared of snipping the hair, you know? Okay, I got it. Just to, like, sort of hide it in her, like, little braid there. Although now it looks like a little... Mm. It's fine, actually. It's fine. It's fine. It looks fine. <laughs> but yeah, she's very cute. I love her glasses. I do wish now that her glasses didn't peel. They are appealing. And then, of course, she comes with a balloon with a surprise inside. So let's see what piece of food she has. I think they all might be randomized because I don't know yet. But I all I know is that Tiana, the one that my friend Josh got, had a doll Whip in it. So I guess we'll see with her if mine gets a doll Whip as well. So she comes with a popcorn bucket and I love the artwork on it. It's like Mickey. Yeah, it's very, very cute. I like that. I like the little food accessories. It makes sense because I feel like Disney to an extent is very centered around food and they always have like very unique foods. Something I really want from Disney World is um, a, a, a Mickey shaped burger. And I couldn't find one when I was there. I really, really wanted a Mickey shaped burger. And I've seen them online. Like, I've seen people post about Mickey-shaped burgers. If, if anyone's, like, a Disney Parks connoisseur, connoisseur, can you please tell me where I can find a Mickey-shaped burger? Because I went to that one restaurant in Tomorrowland, and the burger was a regular burger. Also, the workers there were a little rude. <laughs> and now we have Belle, and so my friend Emil actually ended up getting Belle while he was at the Disney store, and they were all, like, watching me, like, is he really buying all of them right now? Well, meanwhile, they all, like, were getting, like, one, because they're normal people, and they're not as impulsive as me. But we're gonna open up Belle, 
And she's another one who I think is really cute. Emil didn't open her when I was with him. He opened her probably for a video. So if he has a video, go check that out because he'll have probably more specifically like a bell <laughs> review and not a review that's probably gonna be like an hour or so with million things. Cause that's the way I roll sometimes, you know? So first off, we have her little jean jacket. I will say the fabric is a little thin. Like, I wish it maybe it was a bit more, like, jean-like. It does feel, like, kind of like jeans, but not necessarily. But I am impressed with, like, the embroidery. Like, there's real embroidery on this jacket of the roses, and there's, like, real studs here. So that's pretty impressive, honestly, for a Playline doll. I mean, honestly, I, I need... <sighs> I wish more Playline dolls were, like, impressive. In terms of, like, quality factor, like, I think for the prices that we're paying for these dolls at this point, like, we should be able to get dolls that fully meet the standard. I don't know. I know there's, like, different things involved in creating dolls and with companies and, like, everything of that sort. And I don't want to add more to the debacle, I guess. A doll doesn't need to be the highest quality to be a good doll, don't get me wrong. But again, I think for the prices that we pay, we should be, be getting something of a certain standard. And okay, that reminds me of something else. I dislike how these dolls don't come with doll stands. And I think that's been my biggest quip as well, along with the articulation thing. I mean, articulation's one thing, like it can really be hit or miss. And I think as long as the body looks cute like it's fine like you can the doll is salvageable but then when we get down to like you know like can you display the doll can you do this with the doll maybe they didn't want kids to see them as display dolls and maybe more as play dolls so that they're encouraged to buy the fashion packs and everything like maybe it was strategic or maybe it just wasn't in the budget like i don't know the tea on that i wasn't in the boardroom at making the decision obviously but I just, I don't know, like, I uh, I wish there was a doll stand just because that's what every other doll at this point is coming with. Or at least most dolls on the market. And I, I um, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? But here's Miss Belle out of the package. She is very, very cute. I love her hair. I love her ears. And she has earrings, actually. And these are, like, little roses. And also, I have to say, this is giving me Daria Rosalind vibes, this jacket. <laughs> like, that's where it took me. But then the dress is, like, more like a Delilah Fields, I guess. <laughs> but it is very cute. And then she has really cute sneakers. And they have roses all over them. And she has red laces on them. And she's a very cute doll, I will say. I wasn't feeling the outfit at first. I think it... I don't know, in my head, I want it to be, like, more cinched but that's fine. I'm gonna put the jacket on her so it'll probably like not even matter at the end of the day. Like you probably won't even see her waist. And then of course she comes with a balloon. And then in the balloon, there is a Rice Krispie Treats, chocolate dipped Rice Krispie Treats that are Mickey ears. So that was pretty cute. You know what I'm, I wish when I went to Disney World this year, I wish I got more like desserts although i feel like every time i ate like i got really full like really fast but yeah that's like my whole issue <laughs> like, I, I i still have a ticket to go to disney world because it's my unused ticket from my ex and i can't really sell it and i don't really want to sell it like i would like to go back but i keep pushing the date back <laughs> like i was technically actually supposed to go at the end of the month and my vacation days are all saved up, so I could have gone. But then I, I'd have to buy, like, a flight ticket, and I'd go alone again. And I don't want to go alone again. So maybe I'll get, like, friends or something to go with me at some point. And I, I really wish I could transfer the ticket to go to Disneyland instead. Because I'd rather go to Disneyland and spend some time in California, see my family, and also spend time with friends that are in California. But... It is what it is. Here is her bag, and it's not like it opens, but it doesn't need to, like, open. It has, like, a little crevice in it because it's, like, an open bag. And this is cute. So it's, like, a fake molded plastic chain. And I don't know what this accessory is. If I'm being honest, it's a little charm. But it's, like, a rose-shaped bag. And then it's, like, half... The strap is, like, half fake plastic chain, and the other half is, like, the fabric ribbon. Okay, I love love this accessory it's a cell phone and it has a pop socket on the back and there's like little rose details on it i think it's just so so cute i love the little pop socket 
But yeah, she is a pretty cute doll. I like her. I think I'll leave her in this outfit. And for her hair, like she does kind of have like flattened hair in the back. And what my friend Emile did, and this is also something I did for like Royal Bee, who also suffered from box hair and also had this sort of hairstyle, is I just washed it with some hot water and I just fluff it a bit. And then it like really like volumizes it. And I love that. But yeah, she is really pretty and I love her face. Like, it's so cute. Again, the dolls are really just like giving Disney. And I have to say it like right off the bat. The thing I love the most about this line is that it's primarily women of color. And you can't really tell like what each character's like ethnicity is. Although you can like tell like, you know, obviously like the doll is black or the doll is white. But then there's also like sort of ambiguity with some of them. Like one looks like she could be Indian or one can look like she could be Hispanic or, you know, just so on and so forth. And like, I think one is, I think the Tiana one is Asian, like almost obviously just because her bigger doll had more of like an Asian face mold. And I also this one does as well. Yeah, she does. So I think it's a little bit more obvious with some dolls, but I, I like the diversity of it all and the fact that there's only one white character like I support it like I love like seeing different skin tones different ethnicities different hair textures and hairstyles being represented and I think that is something that has been missing from some doll lines and I think like Rainbow High and Shadow High are really very much guilty of this I think Monster High is kind of guilty of this and also like brats to an extent like i wish brats would experiment more with natural hair textures especially for their black dolls i think they really did start with not that they started with this doll but like more in recent years like gcds sasha and holiday felicia had like you know one had braided hair and one had more curly natural hair but I, I wish they would do it more like i wish they'd really lean into it more and really like you know give young people more representation in the dolls that they're purchasing i think barbie does a good job at this it's just the fact that barbie's dolls don't seem the most fun at times and some of the designs are a little like wacky but i think it's also just like a quality thing and like the materials that they use for the barbie dolls not to go off on a rant about that but this is something i really enjoy about these dolls is that you're seeing different appearances represented and it reflects what the world looks like and I, you know it feels like i hate the fact that like we have to say this in 2023 and like not to like say like you know it should it should never be this way but the fact that we're still like begging for more diversity in doll lines all these years later especially after and i'm surprised with mga because i feel like lol omg does such a great job at representing different skin tones and different hair types and all of that and like even like you know different like you know like uh, i also okay, okay rainbow high like has represented like albinism and also vitiligo but i feel like that's as deep as it's gone <laughs> sometimes i i just feel like there's really just room to do more and i i think it's the time i think it's it's been the time like it's been past the time but like really like what's what is going on truly like i just make the doll like why do why do we why are we like you know stopping and being like well we can't do this because of this just do it just do it i'm sure it's like more complicated than that but i just i i don't think it can be excused anymore from these brands like we need come on come on we need more but i do have to applaud disney for this set of dolls specifically because we do see we see it. It's seen. And that was our Belle-inspired doll. We still have three dolls to get through, and I feel horrible. Like, I, I've been talking, but, you know, that that's the point, right? That's the point of the video. And I don't know if I've seen a lot of videos covering all six of the dolls, so... I do want to show all six of the dolls. Okay, next one we're gonna open is Princess Jasmine-inspired doll. And I have to say, her design is, like, my least favorite. And also, like, the doll itself might end up being my least favorite. I mean, we'll open her. We'll see. She looks cute on the back of the box, but something about her. All right, I just nearly had a panic attack because I was filming and my phone just died. It's plugged in now. <laughs> but the, 
I was afraid I didn't save the video and then I looked on my phone I didn't see the video and I was like where is it I was like oh my goodness like I can't refilm a whole segment of the video but it's saved so I'm sure you probably watched it but yeah now we're opening up Princess Jasmine and I just posted a picture on my Instagram story of the boxes of these dolls because I was like ooh, like let me do a little like teaser moment not that anybody fully cares but <laughs> I like to like you know I thought it was a cute photo I also posted a photo of my that's so raven Barbie doll and I love that doll I had her growing up I think I either had her I had the hair one like the is it I don't know if it was like style and hair or something like that uh the raven doll and I loved her so much and I think my grandmother in California actually may have like gotten rid of her thrown her out or donated her or something not like intentionally like trying to hurt me or anything because she's a sweet sweet woman but I think she may have like not known that I had still wanted the doll and I would only visit her every summer so she probably was just like oh like I can get rid of this and then I asked her about the doll like the next year and she was like I don't know and then she actually looked for it and she couldn't find it so yeah that's my little story about my that's a raven doll but then I repurchased the main one with the orange coat like the end like her credits opening like the end of it when she's like wearing that orange coat with like the faux fur trim like that's the doll I have and I love her she is so 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 pretty and I miss when they did dolls of like they're like Disney Channel stars, like I'm thinking of like Hannah Montana and I have actually a set of the Cheetah Girls dolls. Kind of just stored away in my closet now and I, I think some people like are looking for the Raven doll and like the regular That's So Raven doll just because people were messaging me saying like, oh my God, like you have her? Like, I don't know. I haven't checked the prices as of late, but I did get her for like $25 during the pandemic. And I thought that was a pretty good price for her, but I, I think she does go for a little bit more now. So I guess maybe she's a bit more sought after potentially. And it, I posted it because it's 20 years since That's So Raven. And that was like my favorite Disney Channel show. And I'm, I'm really happy that I have the doll again. I really want a Lizzie McGuire doll because I also love Lizzie McGuire. But here is Princess Jasmine. And I have to say she's not a bad doll, but I will say like she would not have been my first choice if I were to pick one. <laughs> But here's her outfit. I like her shirt. Like, I like the fact that she's wearing a graphic tee. But the graphic looks a little, like, worn out. Like, the t-shirt itself looks worn out. Like, it's been washed one too many times. And her hair is, like, falling out of her head. And that concerns me, especially with polypropylene hair. Like, ooh, like, that's not fun. She has a, a cute face. She reminds me of, like, a Pixar character. They all remind me of Pixar characters to an extent. But her in particular, like... I don't know, she looks like she'd be in like a Pixar movie. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of her shorts, like they're cute, like it's like this fake denim and then it, like it's an exposed like little sparkly moment here. And there's actual studs though, so that's pretty nice, there's like actual studs on it. So little nice details there. And I don't like this shirt though, and like the, it, like, the way it closes in the back, like this doesn't have velcro on it. I don't know if this makes sense. So I am, I might end up changing her outfit, but here's her jacket. The jacket looks pretty cute. I will say though, like, I don't know. Oh, it's more like a, oh, it's more like a, like a little thing you throw over yourself and then it looks like it's tied, but you'd have to retie it because there's no Velcro anywhere. So you'd probably have to undo it, then redo it. I'm not the biggest fan so far. She does come with what looks like a little compact. Is it a mirror? What is... Oh, it's a notepad. <laughs> oh, maybe it's, like, for the autographs. Do they still do that at Disney? Like, when you go to Disney parks? I remember there used to be, like, little autograph books, and you'd go around to all the characters and ask for their autographs. But now I feel, I feel like um, everything is very digital these days, so it's probably, like, you go to take pictures and not get autographs. I wonder if they still do autographs. Now I'm curious. But it's, like, a little Princess Jasmine themed book it looks cute i thought it was a compact like a makeup compact but it looks like it's a notepad yeah this purse looks cute and there's actually like a little tassel on it so let's get it out of the box so she has this cute little handbag this one actually doesn't open it seems like there's no seam to open it and <laughs> seam seam <laughs> and there's a fake chain as the handle but then there is like a real tassel here so that's pretty cute 
I feel like with the other outfit, it could look cuter. I'm not a big fan of the outfit. She comes with a blue balloon. It's more like a teal. All the balloons are blue. <laughs> okay. Oh, and so I guess it is randomized because she also came with the chocolate dipped Mickey Mouse shaped <laughs> Rice Krispie treats. That was a lot to say at once. I don't know how I feel about the doll. She's okay. She's very like mid to me, but I'm sure there's some people who it will appeal to. So yeah. She gives me kind of like Aurora vibes, but like Aurora if she stand Princess Jasmine. <laughs> and I mean like every right to stand Princess Jasmine, but like the outfit could be way better. So I think she might actually look better in her, not her fashion pack, but the Jasmine fashion pack. So I'll try that on her later, but yeah. I, I was also like shocked by the hair just because there's like a little style in the back here and I wasn't expecting that when it's pulled back and I think it looks really neat so I'm probably gonna leave that alone but then I'll like wash this out and I might like flat iron it and like maybe recurl it because yeah I'm, I'm not feeling the polypropylene here. So there's only two more dolls left to open so if you've made it this far into the video congratulations we've been through it. I'm saying I have the Cheetah Girls dolls. I have a set. I only wanted one of each Cheetah Girl. So I have four dolls. And I think they were all part of a set. It's funny. I have a picture on my phone and it shows like the clearance section of a Toys R Us. And on the top shelf, it's all like those Bratz Life TV games. And then on all the bottom shelves, it's all Cheetah Girls. Like the Cheetah Girls dolls, I guess, didn't sell well. Maybe when they came out. And they're like, I don't know. I think they came out not in the Cheetah Girls like Prime. I think they came out like right after the Cheetah Girls were super popular and then maybe it was like too late to like capitalize off the Cheetah Girls at that point. I was a big Cheetah Girls fan. Love Cheetah Girls. I love Raven but I also love like the Cheetah Girls like one of my favorite Disney Channel movies. I'm also remember oh my god I just I'm all my like Disney memories are like coming back to me right now. I used to have a Mickey Mouse shaped TV. It was like red and yellow and it had like the Mickey Mouse ears on it and that was so so cool. I had that for a while as a kid and I remember one time I was trying to like move it. I don't know why I was trying to move it but I was like a little, little tiny kid and then it like fell forward on me. So I was like holding it like this and like there was no adults around. So I was struggling to get it back up. But thankfully I think my mom came and then she like saw me struggling. Sorry, it's like all these like random little things like pop up into my head of like when I think about Disney specifically. And I know it doesn't have anything to like really do with the dolls, but I think it's just kind of funny. <laughs> so we're opening up the Tiana inspired doll. I just realized I didn't show. But she's the one who I think has been really popular with a lot of collectors. Because I think she probably has like maybe the cutest outfit. And also she is a very pretty doll. So here is her water bottle. It has a little grip on it. So that's nice. Like a little handle so that she can hold it. And all these little rams keep getting stuck. And there is a frog from the Princess and the Frog blowing a kiss on it. And that's a Disney princess I feel like who doesn't get enough love is Tiana. Uh, like, I, I think she's more popular now. And I know there's, like, things about, like, why the movie didn't work out. Like, it wasn't as successful at first. But I think, like, it's now become more popular, so that's nice. And this bag doesn't open, it seems. Like, I can't find anything to open. Oh, okay, it does open. There's, like, a little slit in it. And I don't know if these bags are, like, meant to open like that, but they do. It's, like, a very, very, like, it's very thin. And then there's like fabric candles. So of course the bag is, is plastic. And then there's like that like felt type of material ribbon being used again. I, I forgot to mention this, but I really like Princess Jasmine's like little, there's like a little genie bottle on her bracelet there. I think that's actually really cute. But coming back to Tiana, who I have just unboxed. She's so pretty. I love her screening. Her hair is polypropylene, but it feels nice. It would almost, it could trick you. I will say it could trick you into believing that it's nylon or saran, but saran isn't really like made anymore by like, yeah. Like Mattel manufactures their own saran. That's how they have saran. But like all the other companies, like it's really just like nylon and polypropylene at this moment. And there's also another hair fiber called Sinatra, but I don't know much about that. But the hair doesn't feel like bad, like it feels like smooth. And I think with a good like wash and maybe like a little flat iron, it will feel better. 
but she's pretty cute. I love her hairstyle. Her whole outfit's cute. I love the like New Orleans shirt. I love her suspender skirt. And her shoes are a little basic, but they're pretty cute. They go really well with the outfit, I feel. And she also has a really cute bracelet. And there's like a little, it's purple. And there's like a little crown on it. Yeah. A little crown. And I love like the floral design of the skirt. Like it's very, like it feels very like Tiana inspired. And I think her face is just really nice. And I love how they have different face molds to like really represent like different features. Like it's just, it's really, really impressive. And I'm really, I'm really here for it. And she comes with this cute little like fuzzy coat. I love, I mean, the construction I feel like could be a little bit better, but for what it is, like, I think it is pretty nice. I love like the texture of it though. Like <laughs> it feels like a, a poodle and she has like an actual like studs on it. So that's pretty cool. And I think it's going to go really well with the fit. Like I'm, I think this might be like one of my favorites of the line and I also love the way they like blushed her face like it just looks like really nice she has a balloon and what's gonna be in the balloon I hope I get a dull whip I don't think it's a dull whip <laughs> okay so we have the little macaroon so that's actually pretty cute I like it so it's like Disney uh not Disney uh, obviously it's Disney but it's like little mini shaped macaroons they have like little bows on them so it's pretty cute I bought the uh the Mickey and Minnie two pack where they're like very like stylized. I'll put a picture here somewhere because I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. But I liked that set and I bought it as like a celebra celebration like of like, oh, I'm going to Disney World. And then my Disney World trip happened and my life was like different. <laughs> also, quick note, I love the artwork on the sides. I do wish we had artwork of like the characters themselves, like not the characters they're based on, but the characters that come as dolls. But the artwork is really nice. It looks like very like clean, which I like. Like it just like looks like really nice. I, I probably should have said that earlier and like shown the artwork earlier, but I love this style of artwork for the Disney dolls. I kind of wish they would do something more like that for like the Playline dolls or like I guess the other Disney store dolls. Like it's just something like nice and like it looks like chic almost. Like, I don't know, like it's very like light. That's my best way of describing it. <laughs> and moving on to our final doll. I'm just making sure I didn't miss any accessories. We have the Ariel Little Mermaid inspired doll. Again, like, look at that artwork. It's just so, so cute. I'm so excited for the live action Little Mermaid coming out. And along with that, I'm really excited to see what the dolls look like in the final form. I know there's been some leaks. But I'm excited to like see the dolls on shelves and I think Halle Bailey is just so beautiful and I'm so excited to see her in like a doll form like I want to see how that translates. I think it's going to translate really well but I sometimes think those live action dolls can really be hit or miss but I think with her I think it's going to be like a hit because like based off the leaks I was like yeah like she, I think it's going to look cute. Remember The Little Mermaid 2? I loved that movie like I loved that Ariel had a daughter. Oh, did I cut my finger? I feel like I'm always cutting my finger open these days on doll boxes. Doll box is just getting dangerous. I don't, I think I just pricked it a little bit. It's not bleeding. <laughs> That's a little bit of blood. <laughs> okay. Here she is out of the box. Uh, the hair does need some work. It's very, very gelled, like to, I guess, to hold the style. But she is pretty cute. Like, I think she's a beautiful doll. Something I've noticed with her, and I think it just, it's just uh, the way that it's made is that her eyebrow hairs tend to go a little bit above her eyebrow and her one eyebrow looks like it's higher like this but i think it's a like intentional thing like i i saw all the dolls they all had it and then i saw the sample heads from the sculptor on like their instagram and i'm like oh like this is probably like intentional but it looks like not intentional at first and she's pretty cute i like how she's like clamshell is it clams yeah like seashell earrings or clamshells and her top is like, like, I think the outfit is okay. It's not my favorite outfit. The necklace is cute. We've got like mermaid tails going on there. She's got some cute kicks here. You know what I'm thinking about it? She reminds me of my friend Lisa, 
who also loves a little mermaid i should get lisa one of these dolls <laughs> maybe for her birthday i'll give her one and i just noticed she has like a little butt on top of her head so she's got a little hairstyle going on she's pretty cute i like her her pants are cute they kind of remind me a little bit maybe not so much now i see them well a little bit just a little bit like Cinderella's, like their designs like feel very similar in terms of color scheme. I will say like very like blues and like purples and pinks and stuff, but it, she's pretty cute. I do want to see her or maybe like partially in this fashion pack. I will say I don't like the top in the fashion pack, but I like this little bralette moment. <laughs> and I love the roller skates with this doll. So I might have to like try her out in that outfit, but she's like a good doll. Like I'd like her. I would maybe choose her if I saw her in the store. I mean, obviously, I did choose her in the store. Like, thinking, like, if I was a kid, like, which one would I choose out of this line? The jacket is pretty cute. She's, like, a little hoodie. There's a lot of plastic ties in the clothing. And I'm also, like, noticing there's, like, literally no Jack-specific branding on any of this. And I'm really thinking, like, maybe Jack-specific isn't involved with this line. Like, this version of the line. Which, I, I, I never would have, like, thought they would, like, be able to do that. But I guess, like ken i don't know like i don't know how any of it works but here she is like it's a nice fabric and i love the sleeve design i think i like that more than like the overall jacket but like look at this cute little like shell moment it's like a little it's a fake zipper it's not a real zipper but it mim it really actually mimics it mimics a zipper very well it's like a zipper like a real zipper here but it doesn't actually zip up <laughs> <laughs> that, that feels so weird it feels almost misleading but i like the little like the fake zipper pull right there that is pretty cute and i love the design on the sides like it feels like very i don't know it's giving me like a 70s vibe i guess i don't know maybe i'm off with my decades here but i don't know if i'm gonna like dress her in that outfit yet so we're gonna we're gonna take it by ear play it by ear she has these little like pearls on the, around the rim of her sunglasses and they're like little gold sunglasses. Paint isn't flaking off yet, so that's a win. Something I will say I really like is this bag. This bag is like a really, really cute. It's like, uh, the plastic is like a very much like a pearlescent. It has like an iridescence to it. And then there's like a plastic handle that's supposed to be like pearl beads or something. And it's like painted pink on some parts it's a really cute bag it's just like one open slot there so you can like put whatever accessories you would like to in there and her balloon surprise is oh it's different i thought it was gonna be the rice krispie treats again it's actually the mickey pancake or waffle one of the two they're very much similar but very cute, and it has like little like uh, strawberries and whipped cream on the side. It's giving mini verse mini foods, which I bought and I just haven't opened. I found them in stores like early December, like you know, like right before like everyone was going Christmas shopping, and I just I never played with it. I was like, ooh, like I'm I'm gonna put this together and I'm gonna have fun with it, and I just have not had the time. Just a shame. It looks very cute. I guess I should open the fashion packs really quick. So here's the Jasmine fashion pack. And at the I'll do like a post-edit wrap-up. So like wait till the end of the video to see everything all together. The fashion packs are $16.99 in US dollars. I will say pricey for a fashion pack. If I wasn't so excited about the dolls and everything, I probably would have paid like 10 bucks for that. But I guess things work differently these days with inflation. Here are the pants. The fabric is a little like meh, like whatever. But I, I'm impressed with like the way that this piece is actually constructed. And I think it's going to look really cute on her. It's just a matter of like me not being lazy and actually dressing her up in it. Although I really, really don't like her fit. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like the Princess Jasmine doll's fit. So I might end up really changing it. The top is very cute. The top is what got me. It, this feels like very like Princess Jasmine. So I think that's what I appreciate it, about it is that it feels more like up that alley without being exactly Princess Jasmine. Oh, and there's a bracelet that was hiding underneath it. So she's a little scrunchy here. That's pretty cute. And then there is, it's kind of hiding in a plastic piece and it's hard to get out. It's like a little, like, uh, like almost like a Fitbit, almost. And it's just gold and black. That's pretty cute. I didn't know that she had that. 
I say she, it's a fashion pack. It's just a fashion pack. The purse is pretty cute. It has a real tassel, but the rest of it is plastic. This might have been what sold me on the fashion pack is the necklace, because I love a good moon necklace. I love a good moon moment. And there's like a little crescent moon on this. This would actually, yeah, this would be cute on a Claudine doll, I feel. And then she comes with these cute little sandals. Very nice, like, you know, casual moment. And then she also comes with these really cute sunglasses, actually. I like these. They're like uh, that Princess Jasmine blue color, and they're like kind of like, you know. And she comes with like a little matcha latte, and there's like a genie lamp on it. It's like kind of like molded in there. I don't know if you can see it. I think it's matcha. I love matcha lattes. I make my own sometimes. My mom just got me a throffer. A throffer? A throffer? Make me a little, like, little, little matcha latte. Guys, it's matcha lattes. I look like a matcha latte. <laughs> With my shirt. I'm like, I am a matcha latte. And we're gonna open up the Ariel fashion pack. Here it is. And I'm tired. Talk a lot. She comes with a helmet and there's like a little a sh a clam shell, a clam, a shell. Is it a clam? Is it called a clam shell? Clea Michelle. <laughs> she got oh my god, she has a fanny pack. There's a little fanny pack. I love this like holographic purple paint that's on it, and then there's that shell again. And oh I love the socks, these like tube socks. She comes with these cute like knee-high tube socks, and they're like striped at the top, and then the rest are a teal. There's this shirt, it's a tank top. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like the construction of it, like it looks like very baggy, and I'm not into that look. Fully, but it says be heard be heard now this was the what piece that i think actually like really made me want to buy it is the ariel bralette and it reminded me so much of this experience i had with my mom and it was i had my my disney dolls as a kid and we were like in this apartment complex that we used to live in and she like got mad at me and then she took i guess i was playing with the doll and she took the brawl it i don't fully remember what happened and then like threw it out the way like pretended to throw it out the window and she didn't actually throw it out the window but i swore that she threw it out the window and like there was like a little bit of a sparkle in like the gravel of the outside like looking into the parking lot of the apartment complex and it was like a little sparkle and i was like there's the brawl it like there's her top like why would you do that i was so upset i don't know if my mom remembers that and honestly i don't know if she ever like gave me the top back like, I don't know what happened that time, but it's fine now. Like, you know, we move on. I kind of want to, like, give her the, this top and maybe her her hoodie. I think that could be really cute and then leave her pants because I'm not a big fan of the shorts. But there's, like, little scales on it, but it's only, like, printed on the front, not on the back. They're okay. Like, I'm, I'm iffy about those. But I did really like the roller skates. The roller skates are really cute. There's like flowers on them. Those are flowers, right? Or not like a sea flower. <laughs> There's like painted on laces. And then the wheels, oh, they don't roll. So the wheels don't roll. They're just like static, like molded plastic. Not that like they need to roll, but it's fun when they roll. Here's like a little sticker sheet. Oh my God, the artwork on this is so cute. And there's like one with Ariel that says the girl who has everything. One says always be a mermaid and one says dream free. And then there's an A with a little mermaid tail attached to it. Like very, very cute stickers and you can probably put them on the helmet, maybe on the fanny pack. <laughs> and then there's two bracelets and the bracelets are really like packed in there tight. But there's a blue bracelet. It looks like another Fitbit moment, like the same mold as the Jasmine one. And then there's a cute little like multi bracelet all molded together and then there is it looks kind of like um like sea sea themed but like sea like stars and star shells star shells wow i don't know anything clearly i'm cleaning up really quick because i know i won't want to do it later but i'm finding so many little plastic bits i just vacuumed and also this is just so so bad for the environment Ah, wish I could bippity boppity boo it away. All right, <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's hard holding six dolls at once. And I am, a, I'm gonna do a separate part of the video, like at the very end where you can see all six of them and I'll like restyle them a bit, like fix them up more. 
but thank you so much for watching this probably very very long <laughs> it might be like an hour and some change at most but it's pretty long review of the disney ily dolls I have to say, I think one of my faves would probably be... I think my top three. Let me give a top three. Oh, that's hard now, because I love four of them. I think these three might be my top three, like Belle, Snow White, and Tiana. And then Cinderella is like a close fourth. And I think, as expected, the Little Mermaid one, like Ariel isn't terrible, but I do think she like comes in fifth place for me personally. And then I think Princess Jasmine inspired is just my least favorite. Like, I, she's not she's not giving what I want her to give, but she's still cute. Like, don't get me wrong. And I think in the outfit, she might slay a little bit. But let me know what you think about the Disney ILY Forever fashion dolls in the comments. I'm curious to see what people think about this. I think at first we were like shell-shocked. How many times am I going to say shell in the video? <laughs> we were just like shocked by the fact that we had like new Disney dolls and a brand new line and this was like right after the Mattel dolls had just started popping up. So it's like, Disney's coming back with some dolls right now and they're really cute. Like I think these will do well. And I have to say like, they are like super duper mass produced. Like there were so many in the store, except for Cinderella and that specific store I went to, but like there's just, there were so many. And when I see the, all the pictures of them in like the Disney park stores, like there's a like walls of them and like whole displays with them and like the disney store display like was huge like humongous so yeah like they're they're coming in hard with these dolls and i'm surprised we're starting off the year with like brand new disney dolls and like a brand new line essentially aside i mean it is a pre-existing line but it's a new version of a pre-existing line and it seems like these are might just be fully produced by Disney. Maybe Jax is a part of this, but there's like literally no Jax branding anywhere to be found. I can't find anything about it on the packaging. So I'm just going off what I'm thinking and I'm like, wow, like there it's just like new dolls and I'm I'm really impressed with them, I have to say. There are quips that I have with them. Like I I noticed with some of them like there's like dirt embedded in the faces and like you're going to have to like look out for that and also like you know, be wary of like ordering online cuz Unless you, like, really have to order online, then do it. Like, I think my Cinderella one looks really good. But I think they're really cute for what they are. I wish the price point was a little bit lower. I can see why they're sort of $30, but I think, like, 20 to 25 range would be a little bit better for what you're getting. Because you are getting a lower grade quality of hair. And you're getting limited articulation. I mean, it looks like it, it's somewhat advanced, but it's not, like, the best body like it could definitely be better and I'm I wish they had stands like I think a stand or something would have been really cute but I digress it's too late the dolls are already produced they're on the shelves <laughs> and they are they are produced they're on the shelves like for real but they are very very cute I like them and I if they come out with more I would consider getting them depending on what they look like I really just wanted to get the first six at least, like just to like check them out, see what they're all about. But I don't know. It really, in the future, I think it's gonna depend on what the designs are gonna look like. I probably won't like splurge and get them all. But I'm hoping we get to see more characters. I think there's like limitless possibilities with this line. Like they could like take any character and really run with it. They could take like Stitch. Or they could take Tinkerbell, or they could take Anna or Elsa, and they can make a doll out of it. I hope we get to see a Pocahontas one. I think that would be really cute. And there's also a really, like, I think the accessory and fashion packs are really cute. They're just very expensive for what they are. But I will say there's an accessory pack. It's, like, a, the Cinderella-themed, like, organization, like, a desktop area. There's, like, a, it comes with a computer, and it comes with, like, little, like, desk things that I think is really cute and I might get that as just a matter of like where am I gonna put it and I think there's like possibilities for some really cute play sets with these like maybe some like Disney park themed play sets but I think it really is gonna boil down to how this line does or like how the next year is for this line and I think they started off with a splash Miss Ariel and I think 
It's hard to tell, but I think people are really excited about these. And I think there's the fact that we were kind of like surprised with them. And there really hasn't been any official promotion, I think, right now. I'm going to say that in like the, the week that I don't upload this video, like there's going to be like a huge promotional campaign. Like I <laughs> that always happens. I'll be like, oh, they're like not fully out yet. And then it's like, bam, like everywhere. Yeah, I'm into them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I, I like them. I like them. I think, I don't think I needed them all, but I'm glad I got to experience them all to like see what really like what they are. And, uh, you know, I'm happy I have them. And you know what's something I would really love to do is I would love to get, because they, the little, the real brands, the little, is it Zuru? It's like the mini toy brand, mini toy brands or something like that. There's like a mini Disney store, little like the balls that come with Disney store products. And I would love to get them like those and maybe like some little dolls that come with them. But I, I, I hate blind boxes sometimes. So I'm like, I don't want to like get one and like buy a bunch and not be satisfied with what I get. So well, that's tentative. But for now, I'll enjoy the dolls for what they are. But again, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you don't mind me like rambling for so long about my life. <laughs> I just, I really like, I feel like sometimes I just need an outlet to get it out. And I think YouTube has been, really been my outlet to like really like tell my stories and stuff. But yes, thank you so, so much for watching. And I really appreciate it if you made it this far. And I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you subscribe to my channel, if you're not subscribed already, I love making doll content. So make sure to subscribe for more of that. And follow me on all socials at Lookin' Bretts. Hold the G. There's no G in there. Get rid of it. Throw it out. I don't want to see it. On Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and go to lookinbrats.com. And I will see y'all in the next video. Stay tuned for the post edit wrap up because I'm going to show you more of the dolls. But until next time, I will see you in the next video. Hey y'all, this is Post Edit Dom. And just to give everyone a closer look at the dolls, I have fixed them all up. I've unboxed them. I've put on their fashion packs or at least pieces of the fashion packs. So starting with the Princess Jasmine inspired doll, I did mix and match between her original pieces and also her fashion pack pieces. And I just have to say, the polypropylene is just horrendous. So I just redid a lot of their hair and I like did a lot of different styles just to like really tame the polypropylene. Like it just, it took me back to Bratz in 2008 and I really just did not want to deal with it. But here she is, and I think she's cute. I left her shorts on, even though I originally did not like them. And I put on her fashion pack top and some of those accessories. And I think I like her a lot better now. I still think she is my least favorite, but she's still pretty cute. And yeah, that's the Princess Jasmine inspired doll. And then there is the Tiana inspired doll. And I obviously thought she was perfect. <laughs> And she has all of her accessories, and I actually did end up getting a Tinkerbell from the Mini Brands Disney Store capsule. So I gave her a Tinkerbell doll, and I felt like that was very fitting. And she's just super cute. She's definitely top three. And then there is the Ariel Inspired doll, and very clearly I gave her a lot of the fashion pack pieces. But I did keep her jacket from her original doll. But everything else is from the fashion packs. And then there's this cute purse, which I think came with the doll, yes. And I do think she's really cute. I gave her some twists because I really did not want to deal with the polypropylene. But I think she actually looks really good with the twists. And it, it gave me a chance to really play dress up and like do their hair. So I appreciated that aspect, even though I really didn't want to. But I thought it was fun to just like, you know, chill out. I spent a whole night doing hair on dolls, so... She was part of that mix. And then there is the Belle Inspired doll. And I just really love her. I love her accessories. I love her, like, her dress isn't the best, but I like how it goes with her fit. And I just think she's, like, really cute. And I love her phone accessory. And then there is the Cinderella Inspired doll. Not many changes with her, clearly. Though I did have to, like, twist her ponytail. I was not dealing with her hair. Like, it just, ugh, it was just so hard to deal with. And I'm usually really good with polypropylene. Like, I know how to work with it, but it just, ugh. 
I was not in the mood. <laughs> and then Snow White is another, like, doll who I just think was perfect from, you know, her outfit, her accessories. I think she's a really gorgeous doll. And I'm now noticing she has, like, pink in her hair and some red. So she's just really cute. And I think this is a good line. I think it'll do well. Like, I think people will enjoy it. But there are some quality factors that I am taking into account. But I am somebody who always looks at the quality of a doll and, like, you know, how will this hold up over time? So that's me. But let me know what you think in the comments. And if there's one that you're looking to get, let me know. I'm very curious to see which characters are going to be the most popular. I do have a feeling that it's going to be the top row and then Tiana. I don't know much about Jasmine. Like, I think... I don't know, her design is really my least favorite, so I don't know how far that character is, like, you know, gonna be well received. And then Ariel, I don't think is a bad doll, but I do think at first I just wasn't into her, but now I really am into her. But yeah, let me know what you think, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye! Also, just have to say, the hand mold really does not work well with some of the accessories. Like, I was trying to have them hold, like, the matcha lattes and stuff, and it just was not working out. Maybe I'll use, like, a glue dot or something to keep it in place. But, yeah, just saying, like, the hand molds. I I hope we see some improvements with this line in the future. I think there's a lot of potential here. And I think we already, like, see some, like, really cool dolls. But I hope that they really, like, refine these if they go with future waves. But, yeah, that is my last note about these. Thank you again for watching. And you better walk that Donald Duck.